Welcome into another edition of the Vintage Composer. Mike Beck here with you from New Jersey. And today we're going to combine a couple of videos into one. And there must be something in the water in the card collecting community on YouTube because everyone seems to be hitting 500 subs of late. I talked a couple of weeks ago about Andy from Nostalgic About Baseball. He hit 500. And there are two new members to the club, uh, which is a far ways away from where I sit, and that's fine. But Ken at Ken's Cardboard and George at Diamond Yard Sports. Congratulations to both of you, and they're both running contests, and we're gonna show some autographs and some duplicate cards that I consider to be duplicates, so we'll show those in a minute. Um, George has been uh, connected with me for about a year or so. A lot of uh, basketball, vintage, pre-war, run-of-the-mill guys like you know Jackie Robinson and Joe DiMaggio and Satchel Paige, nothing too fantastic. But we'll get him back into basketball soon enough, I'm sure. And Ken at Ken's Cardboard, we are new to each other's channel, so hello, officially. Uh, I've been a long time uh, watcher and sometime commenter on his videos. I don't know why I didn't hit the subscribe button sooner, but he is the big time Rockies and Broncos fan. Uh, a lot of Todd Held, huge Todd Helton PC, so that's exciting. So I am jumping aboard the train and taking the ride with you through Colorado. So congrats again to both of you. Let's show you some collectibles. Alrighty, Ken, you're up first. Top 10 autographs, and we're gonna show 11 in 10 spots. How are we gonna do that? I'll show you. 2005 WWE Topps Heritage on-card auto of Olympic Hall of Famer Kurt Angle won the 96 gold medal. This is pulled from a pack, actually. Uh, one in 530 to get the player you need, says Bill. Another Olympian, Al Order, the discus god, gold medal in four consecutive Olympic games. And this was a TTM three week return in 2005. And um, uh, you know, he had a really bad heart condition for a while there, the few last years of his life. And he signed this when he was going through some tough times. And I have another card also autographed, but huge name and a great looking card on this 96. Uh, USA Olympic then and now great looking card great auto appreciate that oh my it's Dick Enberg on a 1990 pro set this is also TTM also from 2005 in just a week and I like the way he signed to Michael and his name on the sides which you can actually read so it wouldn't be uh, hidden black on a dark image smart guy he was great. Mr. Hank Aaron, some call him the hammer, some call him Hank, some call him the home run king. I call him Mr. Aaron and I met Mr. Aaron at the Steiner shop in Long Island. Uh, he would sign once a year here in the early 2000s. Waited online for about an hour and a half. Didn't say anything to me, but cool. I got this auto, beautiful signature on his 84 Donruss Champion card love that one let's do two cards in one Boy, 2005 is coming back at us again upper deck hall of fame seasons this is a, a slight preview of my robin yan pc it's going to be coming up at the end of the year show off a couple of game use now this is the silver version number three of ten with auto and Prime patch and another one similar to it seasons the gold version this is number two of five so you can see the, the color of the silver and gold around the patch and the numbering so he's got a great sig many more of those to show you in the future another in person this was in 1990 in Las Vegas I went to a show happened to be out there and oh boy if I knew now if I knew then what I know now about how great Warren Spawn was, we would have a much longer conversation. Um, but I got this on. Everyone has this card, 89 Donruss uh, puzzle card, showing what the puzzle looks like uh, when you put it together. Great looking Sig. I got to meet him. I can say I met him. I like this card very much. From the Nolan Ryan Museum and Foundation, which is no longer in Alvin 
they've closed up shop and they've moved some of the exhibit pieces to Round Rock and then another museum in Waco. But this is from a signing he would do about a few times a year. You can see the uh, Nolan Ryan official uh, sticker and inscription with his number of career strikeouts. I have another card, another uh, example of this card with seven out hitters written on it, but this one I like with the, with the numerals. Really cool. And the old school Astros rainbow uniform of the Express. Another quickie TTM. This one from 2006. John Wooden on uh, his 2006 Allen and Ginter. And not bad autograph for 95 years of age at the time. And he sent me another, he sent me a, a letterhead, a piece of it's a pad with his name on top and signed it as well. This is really a cool piece. Love this one. Top two, both in person, both baseball Hall of Famers, both baseball cards, but not as big names as we've seen in the past on this list, but they have meaning to me. 1989 spring training went down to West Palm Beach to see the Expos and Braves, as well as hitting Vero Beach and Port St. Lucie. But the uh, Expos and Braves share the same facility and while everyone was running to the first base side to get Dale Murphy near the, uh, the dugout, I hung out and waited for Tim Raines who was with his son, who was about three years old, and he was doing a radio interview, and I patiently waited, and I had his rookie card, and got him to stop on his way into the clubhouse to sign it, and have kept it ever since. Good looking at the signature, too, for a, a spring training SIG. It's a great card. It's 81 Future Stars. So that's The Rock. I'm glad he's in the Hall of Fame with his 800 stolen bases. And number one, and I mentioned this in a previous video about my number one, my, my first ever baseball card, 1978. Didn't know much about baseball card. I thought it was a, I thought it was a 1959 card because it went up to 58 on the back. Um, you know, we used to trade non sports and stuff like that all the time. I kept this one. I just, I just like the, the dual image. And Bob did a signing, and I got him to sign this card. He wasn't very impressed with the idea that it was my first card, but his, his agent was there and he freaked out. He's like, did you hear that, Bob? That's great. And Bob's like, yeah, okay. Smoking his brown cigarette. So this is my favorite autographs to show Ken. Now for George. He wants to see some dupes. Did I say I have a Robin Young PC? I think I did. And we got a PC series coming up. But before we do that, let's show some some dupes. Game used. This is 2002 Fleer Fall Classic showing the shortstops of the 82 World Series, Ozzy Smith and Robin Yount. And Robin's got his picture surrounded by a blue border and Ozzy's red. So the blue goes around the patch here. You can see that it's a Robin Yount piece. But I have another one that's got both of them. And there's one just with Ozzy Smith, uh, which I need to pick up. But these are similar yet not the same 2002 also from 2002 Fleer from the greats series dueling duos and Robin Yount Dave Winfield I'm not sure the connection I know they play each other in the ALDS during the shortened 81 playoff season postseason uh, bat card of Robin Yount and one of Dave Winfield and there is one of both of them, which I also need to get. Dueling duos. Not numbered, none of these are numbered. But I'll show you what is numbered. 2005 was a great year for inserts between Diamond Kings and Playoff Absolute Tools of the Trade and Heroes. And Upper Deck made one called Sweet Spot Classic. And they had, um, Jersey pieces, small pieces, and they also had the jumbo swatches. And these cards are gorgeous. Every player, every card is gorgeous. And I have had the luck of picking up three of these cards. They're numbered to 34 for Robin Yount. 
This is card number one. Looks like the bottom of a number, a one or a nine perhaps. I missed out on getting number two on eBay a few years ago. So if you have number two, congrats, I guess. Here's card number nine. And this could be part of the same number, maybe. Number nine, this nice big chunk from Road Jersey. And another piece of the Road Jersey is, for those of you who are big into one of ones, right? Uniform number 19 for Robin Yount and a piece of script, either the E, the L, or the K from the word the city Milwaukee. A nice big loop here. I love this card. The 19 is, is cool too. But the three of these together. So I'm, I'm hoarding these and I haven't seen any since. PCers like me like to keep these big pieces when we find them. It's a difficult thing to do, but we manage. So that's the dupes for George. Another part of George's contest was to mention two channels that have fewer than 500 subs. And a couple that I've recently discovered over the past couple months are Brandon's Baseball Cards. And Brandon's a big Reds fan and he dives into unopened material specifically early to mid 80s cello rack and wax rack packs. I think I said that the right way. Um, he talks about auctions, market trends, where the future of that branch of collecting is going and how to spot for fakes when looking for that kind of material. So very informative, very knowledgeable, comes across really cool and collected and I enjoy his channel a lot, as well as Tim at Hoops and Homers. That's a great name. Basketball and baseball, of course. He's a big White Sox fan, Bulls fan, Dale Murphy fan, from what I understand now, Ken Griffey Jr. So he's got a whole bunch of stuff from vintage to modern, uh, raw graded across the board. And he's uh, been shopping a lot lately and picking up some, some really cool cards. So check those guys out. Brandon and Tim, Ken and George, Mike. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks, bye, congrats.